and the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. as we could, Duncan. What's this all about? Well, I have news, wonderful, exciting news. You're aware of the space probe that we launched last year to explore the solar system. Well, I'm afraid we've succeeded far beyond our wildest imaginings. What is it, Duncan? I have made contact with an alien being. Come with me. Your Majesty, may I introduce you to Ohm? I am Ohm. You are Randor, ruler of your planet. Uh, you can speak to Ohm with this, Your Majesty. Uh, yes, I am King Randor, the leader of my people. That is good. Uh, who, what are you? Where do you come from? I am Ohm. I am of a race much older than yours, a race that has long since shed the fragile shell of a physical body. We are older than many planets and our origin stretches to a time that would hold no meaning for you. We are born in the fiery belly of stars and pass away into the frozen black holes at the end of the universe. We travel between the stars of our galaxy. I am on a mission examining other intelligent life on my voyage through the galaxy we share. I was traveling through your solar system when I encountered your probe and spoke to one you call man-at-arms. I wish to visit your world. My intentions are peaceful. My desire is to briefly observe your people. It would be my great pleasure to welcome you to our world, Om. Om could well prove far more powerful than we Eternians, and the situation could be dangerous. Of course, Duncan. There are always great risks in the pursuit of knowledge, but they are risks that must be taken. Uh, how soon will you arrive? Immediately, if you like. You travel quickly? At the speed of light. I see. Well, perhaps you could travel a little slower and we'll prepare for your visit later this evening. As you wish. Duncan, could you give Om the coordinates to the palace and prepare a landing site for him? Certainly, Your Majesty. I go to prepare for your visit, my new friend. Skeletor, I have raised an army of goblin warriors from the land of Mur. And this army of yours, General Tataran, it is a strong one? It is a mighty army. It had better be. Eternia is not easily conquered. I've been set back too many times in my efforts to overrun it. Tell me about this army of yours. It is a multi-attack force composed of laser-armed airships, jetpack paratroopers, thunder lizard cavalry, robot assault walkers, and 500 goblin infantry troops. Wonderful! Soon I will imprison King Randor and his royal family. 
and a payment. Each soldier will receive 10,000 gold pieces, half in advance and half on the fall of Eternia. And you, Tataran, will rule as governor of Eternia in my name. The pact is made. When shall we attack, Great Skeletor? Tonight is the night of the new moon. It will be dark, very dark. We will fly to Eternia and attack tonight. for transforming yourself to He-Man, Adam. We have no idea about Ohm's reason for visiting us. I want to be prepared for anything. I had to convince the king it would be a good idea to have He-Man on hand. Look to the skies! It's him! It's Ohm! He's here! I am Ohm. I come in peace. We greet you, Great Om. We welcome you to Eternia, and we are glad you come in peace. We have much to learn from each other. I see that one of your rank is different. Who is the little creature? The little creature? I happen to be one of the greatest magicians in the land of Trala. I see. How fascinating. Tell me about this Trala. By the grace of Eternia, Gogo, Gogan, where are you? We're under attack. Flee to the palace. Run, run for safety. How sweet it is to see the pitiful villagers scramble from our path like frightened rodents. Yes, we will drive them from their homes. They will flee to the palace for protection, creating great confusion. And the Ancient One stored their secrets in the Castle Greyskull. The sorceress is the guardian of them. We're under attack. This can only be the work of Skeletor. You must excuse me, Great Arm. I must attend to my people. Guards! Guards! The ramparts! The palace is surrounded. It will soon be ours. General Tataran, what is that? Why, some new weapon of the pathetic Eternians. It matters not. Attack! Drive them from the palace, my friends. But don't harm them. The goblin warriors are but innocent pawns in Skeletor's game.
robot workers will storm the palace. Stop those robots before they reach the palace. Yes, Father. I know what to do. That's one less robot. Going, Tila. You taught me well, Father. Looks like we've got company. this time. to take place. It is wasteful. It is wrong. There will be too much needless suffering. Instead of all this fighting, I will select one single warrior from each side. The most powerful and representative warrior. The winner will decide the conflict, and I will decide the fate of the losing side. I have spoken. You and me. It's not too late to call this off, Skeletor. Ah, very clever, you muscle-bound moron. Perhaps this will amuse you. You're strong, He-Man. Here's something even stronger. A mystic cage that even you can't break out of. You haven't invented the trap yet that can hold me, Skeletor. <laughs> Very impressive, He-Man. So you like to play games, do you, He-Man? Here's a little game I call Powerball. <laughs> <laughs> if they touch you, it's going to be most unpleasant. Yeah, you leap like a swamp, Papa He-Man, but you can't avoid them forever. Next, Skeletor. Oh, He-Man, how you vex me. <laughs> he 
Snakes before Skeletor. You'll have to do better than that. And so I shall. Here's a little trick I've been saving up just for you, He Man. Witting servant, perhaps what you need is a little more power. <laughs> Attack He Man, you filthy beast! <laughs> Dim witted animal, must I give you even more power? <laughs> Get He Man, you stupid creature! After him, beast! <laughs> Not me, you fool! Skeletor, stop! You're enraging him! No! No! I've used up all my power creating this hideous beast! Enough. You who are called He-Man, why did you not allow your enemy to be destroyed? Even though Skeletor is my enemy, I couldn't allow him to perish. I believe in the sanctity of all life. Even Skeletors? Even Skeletors. So be it. The decision is made. <laughs> Skeletor, take your army and leave. But I... Enough. Leave. Now. Tonight's events have been erased from their minds. You are a young race, but you have proven yourself worthy. You have something more powerful than mighty warriors or destructive weapons. You have compassion. You know that there is something more important than strength. It has many names. Some call it love. done well this night, my friends. And thanks once again to He-Man. I think we've all learned something this evening. Perhaps, dear husband, we've learned nothing less than a better way to live. Well, it worked out pretty good, but it's too bad Arm didn't give me a crack at Skeletor. I would have given Skeletor the fight of his life. And a left and a right. Now take that, you bone-headed fiend. Orko, watch out! Hey, who turned out the lights? Oh, Orko? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Marco. What are you up to? Uh, me? Uh, oh, nothing. I'd call that something. Oh, uh, that? Well, well, it was supposed to be a surprise. This had better be good, Orko. Oh, it's for Tila. I'm working on a capture beam. You fire it, and rays reach out to grab and hold a prisoner. It's like throwing a lariat. Very interesting. Except that this is explosive, and this is very dangerous unless you know how to handle it. Oh. Orko, you know your magic is not always reliable. That's not true. Oh? Does it always do what you want it to? Yes. Always? Well... Not always. And you know what kind of trouble that gets you into? Especially if you keep fooling around with things you've been told to leave alone. You are not to touch this. Do you understand? Yes, sir. It was a good idea, Father. Well, yes, it was. Thank you, Orko. The idea was a wonderful gift. Adam, your parents are waiting to see us. And I have to check with the palace guard. See you later. Coming, Orko? Uh, I'll just clean up in here. Orko, do not play with any of the things in that cabinet. You don't know how to handle them, and they can be dangerous. Yes, sir, I know. Or anything else in here, either. I mean that. Yes, sir. I don't want him playing in there. I've changed some of the solutions around in my supplies, and they're not all marked. Well, you've warned him, so I'm sure he'll be all right. Oh, what are you doing? Man at arms said not to touch that. I decided to do something else. I'm going to make you brave. This, and some of this, and no more scaredy cat. Oh, magic red, oh, magic blue, make Cringer's paws now stick like glue. <laughs> Orko. What did you do? As if I didn't know. I, uh, well, I, I, I used some of the powders in the lab. I was only trying to make Cringer a little braver, like when he's Battle Cat. I hate the you Battle Cat. I don't know why you're so angry, Man at Arms. All I did was. I gave you a warning for your own safety, and you ignored it. Now, you listen carefully, Orko. It all goes back to a time before you came here, when Adam first found Cringer in the hills of Eternia. I had just made a new device, and Adam had offered to test it. Here's the new animal collar I made up, Adam. It imitates all the sounds of the animals you're likely to see on your camping trip. Oh, thanks, Man-at-Arms. I'll see you in a few days. Mid-morning, spotted one spine deer, a young buck, general area of forest glade. Well, that call works. Uh-oh, saber cat. And he looks hungry.
And the only thing a saber cat is afraid of is a mandacore. Maybe I can scare it off with a mandacore call. <laughs> Thank goodness this works. Well, <laughs> look at you, fella. Where's your mother? You've been hurt. Let's see what we can do to fix you up. That might make you feel better, but you don't look too good, fella. I think I better take you back to where you can be properly treated. He's very badly hurt, Adam. I don't know if I can save him. Well, you have to try. He lost his mother somehow. He got terribly hurt out there alone. If I hadn't come along, my... Don't worry, Adam. I'll do my best. It took quite a while, but with my help and Adam's love and care, the kit gradually got well. Hey, I think you'll be all right. <laughs> I think so, too. Mostly thanks to you. Company! Hop! <laughs> <laughs> What a scaredy cat. Look at him shake. <laughs> Go! Let him alone. He's not even a real pet, Adam. He's just a cringer. Cringer, cringer, cringer. I don't care. I like him. Cringer, cringer, cringer. It's all right. You're a great pet. <laughs> But I must admit, Cringer is a good name for you. You're afraid of your own shadow. Oh. Hello, Sorceress. Hello, Adam. Hello, Cringer. Cringer, stop trembling. The Sorceress is our friend. Adam, do not be impatient with your pet. Well, he embarrasses me sometimes. In spite of that, you will find he will be very important to you in the future. You may call him Gringer, but he is not entirely what he seems to you just now. I don't understand. You will. Well, I grew up and so did Gringer, but he never seemed to change. He was still afraid of his own shadow. And he still stuck to Adam like a burr. Everywhere Adam went, Gringer followed. Except for when I became He-Man. To make that change, I had to be alone, so I always made sure Cringer wasn't around when I did. But I don't see what that has to do with me not listening to Man-at-Arms' warning. You will. Things began to change when an archaeological party discovered something strange in the Tikan jungle. We found several strange buildings in the jungle, Your Majesties. Our initial readings indicate they are over 100 centuries old. If that is correct, these buildings may be a link to Eternia's earliest history. We must send out a full archaeological party at once. I suggest we appoint Man-at-Arms to lead it. He is the most skilled person in Eternia at deciphering ancient writings. We can start at once, Your Majesty. Well, let's see. I'll need these boots and this and this. I'll need this, of course. No one said anything about Cringer coming along, but Cringer had other ideas. Cringer, get out of there! <laughs> Still can't get rid of that scaredy cat, can you, Adam? <laughs> oh, he's hopeless. I suppose you'll find some way to follow me, no matter what I do. Is there any way to take him, Man-at-Arms? Well, I don't suppose it would do any harm. But you'll have to watch him and don't let him get into any trouble. <laughs> don't worry. Trouble is the last thing Cringer looks for. I'll take care of him. Move over, Cringer. I'm flying with you. There's something very strange about the main building, Man-at-Arms. What's that? Well, everywhere else in the jungle, there's life. Birds, animals, insects. Around that building, there's nothing. Just the vines that grow over it. It's eerie here at night. These are the writings I made copies of. 
Well, let's take a look. I've never seen anything like them. They look a little like ancient pellite. I'll need an exact copy of this to compare to my research cubes. We'll be here for hours. Come on, let's look around a little on our own. All right. Look, it's some kind of door. Yeah, it's been walled over. Hmm, some of these inscriptions look the same as the first ones they found. We should tell Father about this. Man-at-arms, we found some kind of door further along the wall here. It could be important. It's getting dark, and we should get back to camp. It can wait until morning. After all, it's, it's waited for centuries. Mother's always so cautious. Well, it's not dark yet. We could still take a short look at the door. Hey, I think I found a crack. <laughs> oh, come on, Cringer. It was only a little dust that's been sealed up too long. I think that's enough for tonight, Adam. We'd need heavier equipment to get through that door anyway. That's the truth. Let's get back to camp and get some sleep. Come on, Cringer. I'd warned Adam and Tila of possible danger, but like you, they wouldn't listen. Gee, what happened then? Pay attention and I'll tell you. Hmm, definitely some similarities to ancient Pellite. They look the same. No, Adam, they look almost the same. In Pellite, that symbol stands for evil. The other one probably means the same. Evil, I think. Yes, yes, I think it could be warning or beware. It's right up here, not much further. Gee, Adam, I thought you said there was only a little crack in the door. It was just a small crack yesterday. Well, maybe, maybe there was an earthquake. I think we would have noticed that, Ram Man. Anything could have caused that widening in the crack. Pressure from inside, settling of the structure. But uh, let's see what we can find inside. Bring up the tools! We're going in! I don't like this, Tila. We didn't widen the crack like that. Father knows what he's doing. Don't worry. <laughs> It's me, Adam. What happened to Cringer? You will find he will be very important to you in the future. You may call him Cringer, but he is not entirely what he seems to you just now. Well, you're certainly not a Cringer anymore. All right, big cat. Let's go. Zoar. The Gage monster has broken. 
broken out of its prison, He-Man. Your strength can force it back. You cannot harm it or defeat it, but you can help me lock it up again. How? A direct attack will not do it. You must be clever, He-Man. Use Battle Cat. He's your partner. Force the gauge back to its prison. Right. So, it's Battle Cat, is it? Let's go. Scatter. Don't bunch up. It'll trap us. That way, spread out. He-Man! Yeah, but what's that? I don't know, but I'm glad it's on our side. The creature must be imprisoned in the structure again. He-Man and Battle Cat will force it there if they can. You must be ready to trap it inside. The explosives are in the arms chest. We have to set them at the door the beast came from. If He-Man can get the beast inside... We'll slam the door! Let's go! <laughs> That's it, Battle Cat. That case, explosive pods. That pack, make sure the fuses and charges are all there. Now, Battle Cat, this way. That's right, confuse him. My turn. Taylor, put another pod up there, over the opening. When we blow this up, I want that whole top slab to come down. Yes, Father. Down here. If it sees you, we won't have much time. Now, run for that door. They could be trapped in there. Uh, give them some time to get out. I can't wait very much longer. Come on, He Man. Where are they? Let it get out again. I have to lock it in. And He-Man, too. Look! Are you all right? Just a few scratches. Thanks to my new friend here. Where did he come from? <laughs> you'd be surprised. No, you'd really be surprised. So you see, Orko, if Adam and Tila had listened to my warning, the Gedge would never have gotten loose. And I would never have become that awful Battle Cat! Well, I'm glad you did, old buddy. Without Battle Cat, He-Man would be a lonely fella. Oh, gosh, I, I, I guess I'm stuck with it. In today's adventure, Orko was warned not to play with certain bottles. Well, Orko didn't listen, and he nearly caused a lot of trouble. There may be containers like this one in your home. This symbol is a warning of poison. Say, that looks like Skeletor. And just like Skeletor, it's bad news. It can make you very sick. So if you see this picture on a bottle or box, it means I'm dangerous, don't touch me. Be a safe person, not a sorry one. of you to respond so quickly to my call. It's hard to say no to one of your invitations, Skeletor. He was real happy to come here. 
Let's get this straight. I didn't come because that walking can opener made me. I came because I heard that you had a plan to defeat He-Man. Such plans I find very interesting. I want to see that do good or defeat it just as much as you do. Well then, I have just the plan for you. Trapjaw! Oh, yes, Master. Trapjaw, the General and I have important business to discuss. Oh, yes, Master. It has nothing to do with you. Oh, yes, Master. Trapjaw. Right here, Master. Get out of here! Right, Master, right. Not too bright, is he? As you can see, General, when I require intelligent assistance, I have to look somewhere besides Snake Mountain. That's why I called on you. You mean for my brains? That, and because you are heartless. When I said heartless, I meant just that. As you are a goblin, I understand you do not have a heart. That's true, we don't need them. Then you do not have a heart beat, right? Of course not, but I don't understand. Why do you ask these questions? I thought you had a plan to defeat He-Man. I do, but this time we're not going to defeat He-Man. We're not? No, this time He-Man is going to defeat himself. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't look good, Your Majesty. Sensors report that Skeletor is building a huge structure on the other side of the planet. Exactly where is this structure, whatever it is located? On the Crystal Sea, Your Majesty, near the small village of Zack. I've been there before. A charming, peaceful little place. Skeletor is forcing all the villagers to work for him. Well, we'll have to put a stop to that. Still, the situation worries me. It's not like Skeletor to be so obvious in his actions. It's as though he wants us to investigate. But what reason could he have for that? Uh, I, I don't know. Duncan, why don't you fly out to Zack and take a look for yourself? Right away, Your Majesty. <laughs> A dimensional gate, but it's so huge. Uh, what's Skeletor up to now? That right side doesn't seem safe to me. The supports are weak. This looks like trouble. I'd better change. By the power of Grey Skull. <laughs> Slightest push will cause it to collapse. Are you ready, Tataran? Let me test the force field. Is it working? Give it a try. Excellent. Turn it off for a minute. Now to change you into your disguise. How do I look? Perfect, perfect. Get ready now. Here comes He-Man. Skeletor, why are you forcing honest men and women to do your dirty work? You should be ashamed of yourself. Honest men do an honest day's work, or I destroy their village. Why, you... But your structure is not safe. Someone may be injured. That's your opinion, Tin Hat. Now go away. I have things to do. Well, if you want my opinion, this thing is almost as silly looking as Skeletor himself. Well, who asked you, you little vermin? That was a big mistake, Skeletor. Not as big as the mistake you're about to make, He-Man. That's what you think, Skeletor. If I can't go around, I'll come through. No! Th 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 
that there was someone under there. <sighs> what a mess. I guess Skeletor... Demon! Help us! There's someone under here! Oh, no. Stand aside. My plan is working perfectly. Now, I must make my change. I, is he...? There is no heartbeat. He's dead. He was my brother. You killed him, He-Man! You killed him! You did it, He-Man! You did it! We had to go after him! He needs to be alone for a while, Orko. We'd better go back to the palace and report. You go. He-Man needs me. It was an accident, He-Man, an accident. You can't blame yourself. The thing wasn't safe. It fell apart. It doesn't matter, Orko. The point is, I acted without thinking. And a man died. But, but He-Man... Orko, when I first became He-Man, I swore to uphold that which was right, and to protect the innocent. Accident or not, today I broke that promise. But... I'll be fine, Orko. Now run along. There's something I have to do. I hope you'll be okay. Oh my gosh, I better hurry back or Man in Arms will take off without me. Everyone's gone, Tataran. You can get up now. He-Man was completely fooled. I'll say. He really believes I'm dead here. Yes, I doubt if He-Man will give us any more trouble. Now, we can rebuild that gate, and this time for real. A trick! It was all a trick! What? A spy! I'll take care of him. <laughs> <laughs> Today I broke a promise and proved myself unworthy of the great power that was given me. And if I am unworthy, I can no longer permit myself to be He-Man. Let the power... Return! I brought the Wind Raider, Adam. Let's go home. yourself comfortable, you worthless wizard, because you're going to be here for a very long time. <laughs> Door now closed with me inside. Open now, and open wide. <laughs> Foolish Orko, this prison has been magic proof. None of your pitiful little spells will work on it. Now, if you will excuse me, the general and I have plans to make. For the conquest of Eternia! <laughs> 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 what is it now, Duncan? Skeletor again? I'm afraid so, Your Majesty. This time, however, he's not bothering to hide behind a force field. He has rebuilt the dimensional gate that He-Man had the, uh, the accident with, Your Majesty. The gate is a very large one, big enough to bring an army through. You mean... The goblins? I'm afraid so, Your Majesty. If that gate is completed, Eternia is doomed. We must destroy that gate! That won't be easy, sir. Skeletor has it heavily guarded. 
Then we must call once again upon Eternia's champion, the mighty He-Man. Oh, no. Uh, no, I'm, I'm afraid that He-Man is... is uh, no longer available, Your Majesty. Uh, I see. I'm sorry to hear that. I gather he's still upset over the accident you told me about. However, there is no time for questions. We must act, and act quickly. Duncan, if the full strength of the Royal Guard were to attack that gate... Skeletor has placed a large number of ray cannons around the dimensional gate. The Guard can't get close enough without risking many, many lives. Then what choice do we have? There is one slim chance, Your Majesty. A single soldier might be able to sneak past Skeletor's guards on foot. The soldier would be carrying this. A mesotronic bomb? Exactly. If the soldier could get close enough, this bomb would disintegrate the entire dimensional gate. There is no time to lose. I am going. Goodbye, Your Majesty, Adam. But, but... No, Taylor, no. Goodbye, Father. I... I love you. Duncan, what are her chances? Not good, Adam. Not good at all. But she's the only hope we have now. Wall of hard and solid stone. Please open up. Let me go home. Well, I guess Skeletor was right. I can't use my magic on this cell. I have to tell He-Man and Skeletor tricked him. Wait a minute. Maybe I can't use my magic on this place, but I can still use it on me, myself. I knew I'd think of something. Taylor's gone off on a dangerous mission, and only He-Man could save her now, but... No, I can never become He-Man again. I misused the power and a man died. No, never again. Never again. Orko? Of course it's me! Uh, oh, sorry! Uh, Adam, wh what are you doing? You have to become He-Man, Skeletor's... I've given up being He-Man, Orko. After what happened in the village... It was a trick! A dirty, rotten trick! The villager and his brother were Tataran and Skeletor in disguise! What? Orko, are you sure? Yes, I am, Adam. You, uh, uh He-Man didn't hurt anyone. It was all a trick! Oh, no. Oh, this is terrible. Terrible? I thought you'd be happy to hear this. I am, but you don't understand. Because He-Man wasn't around, Tila just went off on a dangerous mission. Well, let's go get her. Pull the old magic sword and... That's the problem, Orko. I don't have the sword. I threw it into the bottomless abyss. What, of all the foolish... I mean, oh, sorry, I mean... Uh, but, uh, what are you going to do now? There's only one thing I can do. What's that? Get it back. Oh, the, the winds, they're tremendous. I can't, I can't control. The gate must be working. That makes sense. That's where all these goblins came from. Skeletor must be up there, right next to the gate. Maybe I can get these goblins to take me there. Hmm. At least I hope so, because here goes nothing. What shall we do with her? Take her to Skeletor. That's right, boys. Take me to Skeletor and the gate. I don't know if this abyss is really bottomless, but it sure does go down a long, long way. I can't get away. There it is. There's my sword. Oh, if 
can just reach it in time. There, I got it. By the power of grace, go! There, that should hold you long enough for me to get out of here. Now, for Skeletor and his dimensional gate, and Tila. Well, 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 what have we here? A spy, my Skeletor. We found her sneaking around at camp, so we brought her to you. Excellent. You may release her. Well, Captain Tila, this is a surprise. Have you come to surrender to the forces of Skeletor? No, Skeletor. I came to bring you this. A Mesotronic bomb. That's right. And you have five minutes to get you and your evil cohorts out of here before I push the button. You wouldn't dare. And no magic, evil face, or I press the button now. She means it. Come on, men. Let's get out of here. No, you coward! Come back here! You have four minutes left, Skeletor. I don't need four minutes to defeat you! No! And now, my dear Captain, once and for all... Steven! Well, looks like I got here just in time. I'd have thought that my little trick would have made you go away permanently. But no matter, I'll take care of you now. What's that? The mesotronic bomb. Your ray must have damaged the timer. It's going to go off. It should be quite a blast. I'll leave you two to enjoy the fireworks. <laughs> Only one thing we can do. Run for it! No sign of the goblins. With the gate gone, they must have returned to their own dimension. Right, Tila? Tila? Taylor! Oh no, Tila. Oh. Tila? Oh. Ah, I must have bumped my head. Tila, you're all right? Why, he man. I didn't know you cared. <sighs> I was worried. I'm fine. Let's go home. Um, <laughs> uh, he man Yes, Tila? You can put me down now. If you don't feel up to walking, I can carry you back. It's no trouble, you know. He man, I'm fine. Trust me. <laughs> I trust you, but to be on the safe side, maybe I should carry you part of the way. What good will carrying me part of the way do? I don't know. I just thought. hasn't come out of his laboratory for days, working on his new invention. Must be something really special. Just can't stand the suspense, huh? Of course I can. Doesn't bother me at all. Well, I'm glad to hear it, Orko. Man at arms! I is it finished? See for yourself. Wow! It's a horse! His name is Stridor. He has terrific strength and a computer system that can detect trouble quickly. The perfect companion for He-Man. I don't understand. Stridor's only supposed to do that to warn us of some danger. But there's no danger here. Uh-oh! We're heading straight for the palace. We've got to stop it. Quick, everyone, scatter! By the power of Grayskull!
get you. What was all that about? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it before. I have. You must come to Castle Grayskull immediately. I will explain then. All right. One more thing. What I will tell you must remain absolutely secret. So you must come alone. The sorceress says I must come alone, but, hmm, a robot like Stridor might come in handy. Well, then take him, He-Man, with my best wishes and good luck. Thank you for coming, He-Man. The one responsible for the Wheel of Fire was called Morgoth the Terrible. Was he a sorcerer? Yes, once, a very long time ago. He sought to rule Eternia and the universe itself. He sought more power than any mortal should. He became a giant, immortal, with terrible powers. Just in time, the ancients cast him into a prison zone, a dimension from which there would be no return. Until now, that is. That is correct, he -Man. So, what's our first step? We must journey to Dark Mountain. For that, I must call up the Crystal of Alinar, which will allow me to use my powers and maintain my true form outside Castle Grayskull. And now, we must go to prepare for the coming of Morgoth. Much left. How long will we have to wait? Until dawn. We must keep watch tonight just in case. But Morgoth is set in his ways. He will come at dawn. The last time we fought, I was still new to the secrets of Grayskull. Still learning. This time, he will find me a more experienced adversary. You mean you weren't always the sorceress? No, He-Man. Here, let me show you. Perhaps it will help us to pass the time more quickly. My name, then, was Tila Na. Our village of Noella was quiet, peaceful, but it would not remain that way long. For we did not know that Morgoth had broken through in secret, determined to conquer Eternia. But this time, he would have help. He betrayed our planet to an invading army, then terrorizing hundreds of worlds. <laughs> taken prisoner to await whatever the advance force might decide to do with us and Eternia. I say we notify the rest of the fleet now. Invade now. In force. Do you now? I must remind you that I summoned this scouting party and what I say go. What are they doing in there? Trust me, you don't want to know. Any more bright ideas? Good. Now perhaps we can discuss this more reasonably. Listen to those three. If this is how they treat their own kind, we're lost. No. There is a way. There is the castle. Huh. Is that the best you can do? Tell me of the castle. Well, no one has been inside, but it is said that when the evil times come, and a fighter for good is needed, the castle of Grayskull will open its great drawbridge. Well, I suspect the evil times have arrived. So, where can I find this castle you speak of? How did it go? In barren places, find ye hope, where no water springs, no plant grows, no wind blows, find all you need. 
Sounds like the wasteland. That night, with the old man's help, I escaped from our captors. Hey! The prisoner's escaping! <coughs> Quick! We've got to go after her! No, you fool. If we do, the rest will escape too. Let the Wasteland have her. We can find out where she went from the others. Besides, she is one woman alone. She can do nothing to harm us. And that was their greatest mistake. Though by morning I might have believed them. Help us. Someone. My village. Someone. You who seek help. Enter, but know you this. If you enter the walls of Castle Grayskull, you may never again be the same as you are now. Hello? Is, is anyone here? I am here. I am Kodak Ungo, the sorceress, keeper of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. And I have been watching you for some time. Now, what has brought you here at last? My village is under attack by invaders. If they are not stopped, all of Eternia may fall to them. I offer you a bargain. I will give you all the power you need to help yourself and your people. I accept. Wait, not so fast. You have not yet heard the rest of the bargain. I have been Keeper of Castle Grayskull for a long time. My time here is nearly through. But I cannot leave without first finding someone to take my place. I offer that position to you. It will not be an easy task, Tilana. You will fight many battles, see great sadness and great joy. As Keeper of Castle Grayskull, you must fight a constant war against evil and comfort those in need. And you will never be mortal again. Finally, you must preserve and protect the swords of power until the day comes when they may be claimed. Tirana, I know your heart. I know that you are worthy, but the decision is yours. I accept. Then, by the power of Grayskull, let it be done. Enter the pool of power. Only the purest and the gentlest may have the power of Castle Grayskull. If the castle accepts you, you will emerge changed. Enter. <laughs> A falcon. Excellent. I can fly. But how do I turn back? What do I do? Concentrate. Think. Change. That's it! I'm... I'm different. As I told you, from this day on, you shall ever be the sorceress. For the last time, old man, where is the girl? We know you helped her escape. Now tell us, where is she? No, you... you vultures. Do what you want to me, but I will not lift a finger to help you. Very well, then. Perhaps you need some encouragement. Let's give the old fool an example of what we have in mind. That falcon, a good place to start. Show him what we can do. Yes, Captain. Hey, the 
That's not supposed to happen. Invaders, I am ordering you off the free planet Eternia. You have no place here. We'll see how bravely you talk when our troops arrive in force. This is Scout 7. <laughs> the communicator has been destroyed. Then we'll make our report in person. You've got to stop them. Hurry. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. At least not where they think they're going. Yeah. What? Turn around. Too late. Where, where did they go? Far away. By the time they find their way home and report, we'll be ready for them. But are you ready for me? You are no match for my magic. Perhaps not. But you have to be here to use it. No, no time to think. Back, Morva. Back to your prison zone. Back. No. Oh, you, you did it. Thank you. No, we did it. Thanks to you and your stories. Now I must go. Goodbye and good luck. When I returned to the castle, Kodak Ungol was gone. And that is how I came to be the sorceress of Castle Grayskull. And it was a lucky day for us all, sorceress. We've needed you more than I can ever tell you. And I think we're about to need you again. The symbol of Morgoth. It is time. Ah, Eternia at last. Now to take up where I left off and conquer. No, Morgoth. Not now or ever. The gem is Morgoth's link to this world. Destroy it, and he cannot come through. Then let's do it. Not this time, sorceress. How about a little lightning to keep you busy? Here, let me. No, He-Man. I'll be all right. The gem. Destroy the gem. Force field. <laughs> I can't get through. Fools, did you really think you could stop Morgoth? No living creature can pass the barrier I have put around the gem. No one. <laughs> he man, keep trying. We've got to stop him. We've got to get through. <laughs> What? What are you doing? Impossible. No living thing can penetrate that barrier. But Stridor is not alive. He's a robot. No. Stridor? You will stop. A little further, Stridor. Come on, you can do it. No! No! That's it, Morgoth. Everything has its fracture point, and I've just reached mine. And you just reached yours. No, you can't. I was so close. And don't come back! Hey, man, are you all right? I'm a little weak, but I'm all right. What about Stridor? We have to get him back to the laboratory. Men at arms can fix him up if we get there in time. But how? I can fly back myself, but. Stridor carried me here. 
It's only fair that I return the favor. Can you manage him all the way back to the palace? Shouldn't you rest first? No time. And after what Strider just did, I'd carry him to the other side of the planet if I had to. Well, Duncan, will Strider be all right? I think he'll be just fine now. Am I glad to hear that? We've been through quite a lot, the two of us. I wonder what he thinks of it all. One way to find out. This new electro thought monitor I've developed should show us exactly what's on Stridor's mind. Hmm. <laughs> Open fields, streams, forests, hills. What does it mean? Free! 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 What does a machine know about freedom? I believe he is more than a machine now, man at arms. <laughs> He may have been a robot when he went against Morgoth, but he is a living creature now. Well, then he must be set free. It's wrong to keep anything that longs to walk free. Besides, I have a hunch that if we ever need him again, he'll be there. Now I, too, must be going, He-Man. The crystal that allows me to maintain my form outside Castle Greyskull is wearing off. Before you go, Sorceress, I want to thank you for all that you've done. Not just today, but for all of those years you patiently waited, protecting Castle Greyskull. It has been the highest honor, He-Man. And it has been, and always will be, a joy for me to call you my friend. She's a very special person, He-Man. Yes, Duncan, she is. She's very special indeed. Today, we learned about the importance of taking the responsibility to care about our fellow man. If you have a friend who needs help, who's having a difficult time, do whatever you can to help them out. Because as you saw in today's episode, no matter how big the problem, one person or one living creature can make a big difference. See you next time. I sure hope this won't take long to fix. It's hot out here. I could use my magic. No, Orko, that won't be necessary. It's just a loose belt. And we're almost finished. Okay. It could have been a magician if no one ever wants you to use your magic. <laughs> a magician. <laughs> Did I hear someone say he's a magician? Yeah, me. But who are you? Permit me to introduce myself. I am Kathos. And I, too, was a magician. Until Evil Lynn's wicked spell changed me into this. But if you're a magician, maybe you can help change me back. Orko, what's going on? Well, I finally found someone who really appreciates good magic. <laughs> At last, <laughs> I'm free. Tila, look, isn't that the evil wizard Kathos with Orko? You're right. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you, Orko. Your magic is excellent. But I wonder if mine still works. Only one way to find out. Orko, look out. A most excellent suggestion, little one. <laughs> well, well, it looks like I do still have the touch. A pity that miserable witch Evil Lynn isn't here so I could deal with her as well. You know, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> I thought I turned him into a sand slug. That's exactly why I call. <laughs> Chelator, I would like to propose a deal. You give me evil in, and I will give you four. I repeat, four of your enemies in trade. Skeletor, you're not going to listen to him, are you? <laughs> of course not, my dear. How could I trade my trusted right hand of evil for them? Then what would you say? If I threw in He-Man as well. At 
Great Snake Mountain, we don't listen to fools! Great Evil Lin, we may be able to turn this to our advantage. Well, you've got He-Man! We'll talk! <laughs> we shall talk indeed, Skeletor. <laughs> I know these ones are protected by He-Man. If they're in danger, he will come immediately. My magic will overcome He-Man's strength, and then Evil Lin will be mine. What are we doing out here? It must have been Kothos's magic. Well, then use yours and, and, and get us back to dry land. Ocean, ocean, change your motion to see no more. Back to shore. Sorry, guys. I guess Kothos's magic is just too strong. Don't worry, I'll swim and get help. Adam, it's too far. I think I've gone far enough, Tila won't suspect. <laughs> Still no sign of He-Man. Maybe a giant wave will speed him up. Still no sign of help. In that case, maybe we should just wave goodbye. That's not funny, and that wave is no joke. Oh, who's laughing? I, I can't even swim. Oh no, a tidal wave. There's no time to lose. By the power of Grayskull! Now get ready. He -Man. For the thrill of your lives. He -Man. <laughs> I knew it. He Man will soon be in my grasp. Is it over yet? Sure is, old cat. Kathos, I don't know what you're up to. But you better cut it out, or I'll turn you back into a sand slug. Admirable courage, little one. <laughs> but I don't think you'll have the chance. And now, for my prize catch. What's happening? I'm... Oh, getting weak. And I am about to get my revenge <laughs> on Evil Lynn. I knew you were too strong for my freeze magic, but this helmet will keep you weak as a baby <laughs> until Skeletor arrives. Well, Skeletor, I have He-Man, and you know my price. I will give him to you in exchange for evil in. Quiet, you fool! Before I turn you back into the slug, you are! Forgive evil in bad manners, Kathos. You have done well. We'll be there. To make the exchange. What are you talking about? Calm down, Evil Lin. We must play along with his little game if we are to get He-Man. Ah, of course. You're right. As always. But Skeletor, what is this? It's all part of the game, Evil Lin. All part of the game. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Excellent. And so, it is time to summon my own floating palace for its latest guest. Our palace lies again. The master must be returning. Approaches. Skeletor, this is carrying things too far. I'm sorry, Evil Lin, but capturing He-Man is more important than the personal comfort of those who serve me. You... you're selling me out to the slug? Flattery will get you nowhere, my dear. <laughs> now, 
Come along. <laughs> Thank you for everything, Skeletor. And I do mean everything. Either win. We're enemies. But we're also each other's only hope. Use your magic to free me and my friends. And I promise I'll rescue you from Kathos. <laughs> nice try, He-Man. But from now on, you're mine. He-Man's right. He may be my enemy, but at least he will keep his word. Nice work, Evil Lynn. It's great to be back in action. Yeah, because now I can run and hide. Kathos, wait! You've got to help me with the man Sorry, Skeletor, but he's your problem now. So take him with my compliments. Don't worry, Evil Lim. I'll be back. He-Man, look out! <laughs> you won't escape me now! <laughs> hey, you two. I've got a present for you. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. What's going on? I'm too weak to move this boulder. <sighs> ah! uh, okay, you little magician, now you're really going to get it. Uh... All right, Tila, go for it. Sure thing, he man. Now hit it. Just a little something I picked up in warrior training school. Wow! It looks like He-Man's picking up a big something as well. Skeletor, your Rotan got stuck in the sand, so I'm giving it back to you. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Cringer, where have you been? I thought I'd only... Get in the way! It is over, isn't it? No, we still have to rescue Evil Lynn. What? I gave her my word. You're right. Kathos probably dreamed of a horrible revenge for getting turned into a giant slug. But how are we... I mean, uh, I mean how are you gonna get up to that floating palace? Well, there's always a portable sky sled or two stored in the attack track. With the extra altitude this cliff gives us, we should be able to make it. But even Battle Cat couldn't fly a sky sled. You, you, you can't expect me to go. How come? Fly is a cinch. It was easy for you to say. You're right, Cringer. We'll meet you back at the palace. The one on the ground, that is. <laughs> That's a relief. Well, g good luck, everyone. Thanks, old pal. We're going to need it. If you try to rescue Evelyn, <laughs> you will be a sorry man. A very sorry man. Floating Palace. We're almost there. <clears throat> and that's as close as you're going to get. I never thought I'd be saying this, but I hope He Man proves you wrong. Once he frees me, Kathos! <laughs> I hate to disappoint you, Evil Yen, but He Man's rescue mission has just been cancelled. Due to stormy weather. Hey! Where did this come from? It's not like any normal storm I've ever seen. Yikes! My floating powers just shorted out! Orko! He 
And if you like my storm, you love my palace. <laughs> we should have known it wasn't going to get any easier. I think I like the storm better. <laughs> Things are looking up to me. Let's go. But there's nowhere to go to. Then we'll just have to make a way. Oh boy, we're safe. But where are we going to find Evil Lynn? <laughs> I'm afraid you won't. I've waited too long for my revenge to let you spoil it now. <laughs> Taylor, you and Orko look for Evil Lynn while I keep Kathos busy. <laughs> You'll have to catch me first. That is, unless I catch you. It's about time. Get me out of here. Hey, what, what, what's going on? Well, so much for surprise. Get them. <laughs> okay, now magic powers. Did you do your stuff? He said powers, not flowers. Who cares as long as it worked? Exactly. And if this force field didn't block my own magic, I'd have gotten rid of the fools. Now, if you don't mind, the key's over there. Do you really think we should? Evil Lynn kept her part of the bargain by freeing He-Man. Guess now we've got to keep ours. All right, but I wish He-Man were here. You disappoint me, He-Man. <laughs> you were so easy to stop. And after I've heard so much about your great strength, I could say the same about your wisdom, Kathos. A great wizard, but you aren't smart enough to realize that revenge is a game that no one wins. <laughs> You're wrong, He-Man. My revenge over Evil Lynn is going to be a complete triumph. But come, join me. Maybe you can change my mind. Hey! <laughs> oh, dear. I really must have that floor fixed. Uh-oh. I think I know where I'm going. But I wish I were wrong! There, Evil Man. The force screen is deactivated. Now, He-Man's promise has been kept, and if I were you, I'd leave this floating palace at once. Never! Kathos wanted his revenge. Now I want mine! <laughs> when I'm done with him, Kathos will wish she were a sand slug again! You two have served your purpose. Out of my way! Doesn't look like this gate's gonna hold much longer. But with a little luck, it won't have to. Whew. I'm glad that's over. Now to find Evil Lynn. Get back, you miserable worm! And not! No, uh, Evil Lynn! Stop! Stop! And I think I found her. Stop! I'm just getting warmed up! Just remember, you did turn me into a sand slug. I had good reason to want revenge. And you kept me cooped up in a cage, like somebody's pet flugel mouse. So now, it's my turn. He-Man, we freed Evil Lynn, just like you said. But she doesn't seem very grateful. Grateful? Ha ha ha! You may have saved Kathos, but you won't save the floating palace! Oh no, she's heading for the control room of the palace. Now cut those exploding palace will be totally out of control. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe revenge isn't such a great idea after all. She did it. 
He meant she did it. Elian actually wrecked the control system of my palace. We are doomed. I'll tell you what, Kathos. I'll save your palace if you swear off evil. Forget about revenge. Forever. Forever, I promise. It's a deal. You'd better hurry, or it's going to be too late. Quick, what have you done with our sky sleds? Come, come, I'll take you to them. Good luck. Brace yourselves, everyone. He did it. He saved my palace. Well, of course he did. We're talking about my buddy, E-Man. The controls of my palace have been repaired, and I must thank you for saving it and me, E-Man. You'll thank me best by keeping a promise to use your magic for good instead of evil. And forget about revenge. No need to worry, E-Man. I've learned my lesson. Revenge is something only a fool could waste time on. I'm through with it. Now that makes good sense. What's more, I've thought of a wonderful way to use my magic for good. Really? What is it? Oh, no, not again! Oops! <laughs> Sorry, Orko. That's not what I had in mind. Look! Now that's more like it. From now on, I'm going to fly over all Eternia. And any time a farmer needs rain for his crops, Kathos Instant Weather Service <laughs> will be there. Well, the next time Arco needs watering, we'll be sure to let you know. <laughs> <laughs> Today we learn there's no such thing as getting even. Even if someone does something to you and you get back at him. And he gets back at you. And you get back at him. And he gets back at you. And you get back at him again. And he... So you see, it never stops. No one is really getting even at all. The best thing to do is talk it over and start fresh. Now, you were going to say something? See you next time. Jono's land shuttle coming. It'll be nice having children at the palace. Yes, it will. Well, count me out. Children are too rough. Now, Cringer, I'm glad Jono and Chad are gonna pay us a visit. So you be nice and make them feel welcome. Mm, I'll try, but it won't be easy. Here they come. Hi, everybody. Hop out, Chad. See you later. Where's he going? What about the award ceremony? He'll be there. Don't worry. Jono's not gonna miss the ceremony. Not when he's getting the Boy of the Year award. Meanwhile, how about a fast tour of the palace? All right! <laughs> Oh, help! Get that monster away from me! <laughs> Go away! You can come down now, Cringer. I can't. You, you, you know I'm afraid of heights. There is nothing to fear, dear boy. You are in safe hands. I'm not scared. It's just that... You do want the flower, do you not? Oh, yes, sir. Please. Then do as I say. You are the leader. The other boys and girls will follow you. I want to meet them tonight, every one of them. Am I understood? Yes, sir. I'll take care of it, sir. I thought you would. <laughs> now then, 
your flower. Thank you. Now run along to your award ceremonies. I'll be watching you. Don't forget, I'll always be watching you. And so, my dear subjects, none can equal the value of our young Eternians, for they are our most precious gift. I don't see my brother. Don't worry, I'm sure Jonna will be here any minute. I'm gonna look for him. Uh, uh, there's the, the place. Perfect landing! Uh, I think I'll take a shortcut. Our young people are the hope for the future of Eternia. Indeed they are, Randor, indeed they are. And with the help of the young people, the future of Eternia <laughs> will soon be mine. Uh, how are you gonna do that? by making those youngsters so in need of my flowers that they'll do anything I tell them. Anything. Oh, like they'll be your army. Exactly. Then it will be bye-bye, Randor. And I, Count Mazo, will be the king of Eternia. And I get to be like man-at-arms, right? One sniff of my Eternia flower, fool, and you'll be man on his face, like that prize boy of the year. <laughs> and now, on with the ceremonies. Did you find Jono? No, but I did see his shuttle parked out back. Yahoo! Somebody get that boy. <laughs> Tila, look out! Jono! Hang on! I'll get something to reach him. By the power of Grayskull! <laughs> Need a lift? Yes, hurry! Ah, that young airhead. Now he's brought He-Man into the picture. I'll have to act fast. Up you go! Made you pull such an awful stunt? I don't understand. I was just having fun. Jono, every young person on Eternia looks up to you. You were chosen Boy of the Year, and you ruined it for yourself and everybody. And I just want to know why. I don't want to talk about it, okay? All right, Jono. If that's the way you feel, perhaps you'll want to talk to me later. Jono, that was some stunt you pulled today. Wow! Uh, we'll talk about that later, Morton. There's gonna be a meeting at the Meadows tonight. I want you to be there. Well, that's so far away. What's the meeting for? I it's a surprise, but you've got to come. All right. See you there. Adam, I've been looking for you. What is it? It's Jono. I'm so worried. He's like a different person. Yeah, I know. Have you ever seen a flower like this? I found it in Jono's shuttle. A black flower? No, never. No, Tila! Orko, what's wrong? 
Th th this flower is very dangerous. You've seen one like it before? Yes. At home on Trolla. They call it the Black Nightmare. If you sniff it, it can do bad things to your mind. In what way? Well, it makes some people laugh or cry or see things that aren't there. Others get sick or try to do the darndest things. You mean like climb the side of a high building? Yeah. So that's what made the change in Jono. But there's no such flower on Eternia. On Trolla either. Th they were destroyed years ago. Then where did Jono get it? I think we'd better find out quickly. I'll call my Uncle Montork on Trolla. Maybe he knows something. Meanwhile, I'm going to talk to Jono. I'll go with you. But nobody's supposed to go in Man-at-Arms Laboratory. What were you doing there? Some other time, Chad. I'm busy. Don't leave so soon. I insist you stay. isn't here. Adam, this is strange. Chad and Burby are never apart. Hey, here's something stranger. I found out about the flower. Uncle Montorg said Count Marzo owned a flower farm on Trolla. He developed the Black Nightmare. Count Marzo. I don't know what his game is this time, but I'll bet he's taken Jono and Chad. Let's find him. <laughs> I'm picking up something behind us. It's moving in fast. Drat, the Wind Raider. Can you go faster? Oh, he left my stomach back at the palace. Uh, they're getting closer. Just as I planned it. Well, maybe they've landed. Let's take a look. <laughs> now, try my magic force field on for size, Prince Adam. Marzo's throwing a force field around us. <sighs> We're trapped. <laughs> Nothing works on this force field. Now, how, how about if I try some magic? Please don't. C -c Could you conjure up some food? That I can. <laughs> Oh, it's raw! No problem. Fire, fire, burn so bright. Cook up Cringer's food just right. Oops. Orko, please be more careful. Look, the force field is gone. Orko, you did it. <laughs> Write that magic spell down for future reference. Now let's go get Count Marzo. You mean I, I, I don't get fed? Is this not a perfect setting for the first meeting of Count Marzo's young army? Every young person on Eternia will come to meet you here tonight. And you're going to introduce them to me and the Eternia flower. Don't do it, Jono! Mm, you want me to take him away, Count? Hey, you leave my brother alone! Of course, of course. Here, young man, this is for you. It smells wonderful. Chad, don't do that! Ha! <laughs> ha! Oh, wow! Wow! Hey, what's happening? I feel like flying! Whoa! You gave him a flower. He's just a little kid. And he's getting on my nerves. He could use a long rest. Now I feel tired. Oh, so tired. Chad! Chad! This is all my fault. I'm so sorry. Enough of this sickening slop. Your friends are arriving. Take this speaker unit and welcome them. Sure. I'll welcome my friends. Never mind. 
I'll do the talking. Welcome, young citizens of Eternia. Welcome, one and all. Hey, this is Jono speaking. Turn back. There is danger. Turn back. Go home and send help. You young fool. Wrong, Count Marzo. I was a fool. I just got smart. We'll see how smart you are. Call out the wolf bats to keep him company. Then let's get out of here. <laughs> Enough! Come on, before all of Eternia comes looking for me. Looks like they already have. The Wind Raider. Come on, let's get out of here. Please, please wake up. Adam! Tila! Help! Tila! Orko! After the count, I'll help Jono and Chad. By the power of Grayskull! Get those wolf bats! Now we're going to play a game. Let's hold tails and form a circle. Now, round and round we go. Bon voyage! Hurry, you stonehead. We've still got a chance if we can get back to the castle. I think you'll be all right. My head hurts. Orko, look! It's He-Man! You'd better get both boys to the medical center. That's a good idea. Well, I must go now. There you are. Come on! Let's get the Count into the Wind Raider and get out of here. Gabrock! Too late, they disappeared. Where'd they go? Wherever they went, we'll find them. The person you are seeking lives on the planet Eronia. It is small, but very hazardous. There are dangerous animals, quicksands. We must go there, sorceress. I thought that would be the case, Adam. So, I have prepared a dimensional gate for you. I was so close, that fool boy. But I won't let my beautiful Eternia flower go to waste. I am not through yet. Intruder on the south perimeter. Intruder, intruder. There it is. Not very inviting. Well, we weren't invited. Well, then let's go home. I can't get anything on this screen. But if anyone is out there, my iron wall will stop them. Adam? Tila? By the power of Grayskull! <laughs> Hey, hey.
I think s s somebody's out there. All right, and, and, and I think I know who... who, who. Hey, man! Are you all right? Oh, yes, yeah, thanks to you. Now, let's pay a visit to the Count. What is that? Well, if it isn't the Flower Man. He-Man! Intruder in the castle! Intruder in the castle! Now, you tell me. Down for the count. And then He-Man destroyed all of the black flowers and took Count Marzo and Shimera to a prison planet. It was all my fault. I'm sorry. I thought I was such a big guy. But I was just a big fool. I was a fool to try the flower. And I acted like a fool after I tried it. If you learned that, Jono, it was worth all the trouble. Yes, it was. But I'm glad it's over. We could use a little peace and quiet. Mm, I'm for that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Someone who uses drugs the way Jono used that flower? Drugs can be dangerous because of the effect they can have on the mind and body. The price one pays for the feeling a drug gives can be a loss of control, hurting someone you love, or something much worse. People often get sick playing with drugs. Some even die. Never take drugs from other people, even if a close friend says it's all right. Check with someone who really loves you. See you next time. Something with their power will free him. I know of just such a thing, Skeletor. Then get it! I'm glad you could make it to this celebration of ours, He-Man. I wouldn't miss it, Stratos. It's only once a year you take out the staff given to your people by the elders. Just what does that staff do, Stratos? This! <laughs> Know how to work a photon cannon, Teela? I'm a fast learner, Father. <laughs> Stop those heat rays! Clear out! Lost my hair. 
Green Mulgrum! Who were those creatures, Delora? I have no idea, E-Man. All I know is that they've taken Stratos. One of them mentioned Mulcrum. Mulcrum? The sorceress might know that name. Delora, I promise you, I'll bring Stratos back. Stratos is my brother, He-Man. I'm going with you. Very well. <laughs> Never tell you. Oh, you will. <coughs> you will. <laughs> <laughs> Prison him deep in the caves in which the Torgs live. Caves? I don't like the sound of that. The staff of Avion can free Malcolm, and Malcolm has the power to destroy Greyskull. Then we'd better start moving. There's something even worse. Do we really have to know about it? Once the staff is used for evil, it must be used quickly to undo that evil, or it will. Explode and take half of Eternia with it. Couldn't we be on the other half? The Torgs live somewhere in these caves. Uh, they're not the only things. No! That's the real 
Stratos. My will is returned and yours is gone. Some unfinished business, Skeletor. True, He-Man. And now is the time to finish it. Foolish <laughs> mortals, say hello to Molcrum. <laughs>
<laughs> but not very well. After them! <laughs> This wasn't a good idea. I'll never make it unless I drop the battle ray. to explode. <laughs> in the crystal. Yeah, and, and the staff is back to normal. Oh, that was a close one. 
He-Man, help. I'm weakening. Skeletor is lowering the jaw bridge. At last! <laughs> Grey Skull is mine! Going somewhere, He-Man. Skeletor? Anytime you like. <laughs> now, to begin the festival. <laughs> Let's hope there aren't any more interruptions. He Man, help! Help! <laughs> <laughs> tree looks good enough to eat, doesn't it? That's like a lot of things you might find around your house or in your neighborhood. But looks can fool you. Sometimes things that look or smell good can make you very sick. Remember, never taste or eat anything if you're not sure what it is. The best thing to do is to ask a grown-up who knows. Remember, it's better to be safe than sorry. Till next time! <laughs> Hang on tight, can do. Switch! Help! Don't worry, can do. I'll save you. Just haul me in. Can do! Switch! Help! Help! Switch, get down! I'm doing my best. What about me? Uh, uh, uh. Well, well, it's about time. Nice work, Lara Squinch. If I weren't so little, I could have done it all by myself. Well, you are little. Now we'd better get out of the wind before we all blow away. Now, what was that? Are you crazy? No, I'm not crazy, but I'm gonna clear this tree away, all by myself. The wind must have blown away his brains. Squinch, you're a widget, you aren't He-Man. Yeah, well, uh, uh, if I were as big as He-Man, I'd be a hero, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, until that happens, we better send for the real thing. Adam, look! The widget signal flare! Uh, I guess we won't be going to the palace after all. It looks like our little friends need help. By the power of Grayskull! <laughs> Come on, Orko, let's go. Hi, Squinch. We came to help you take care of this fallen tree. Great. Orko! He-Man! Oh, are we glad to see you! Yeah, well, until that tree gets moved, we won't be able to get out our gate. Well, I'll see what I can do. Be careful, Squinch. I'll need some room. Yay, he's doing it. <laughs> that he is really something. He sure is. Huh. Well, uh, if I were as big as He-Man, I could do that too. Gee, Squinch. I don't even think my magic can help you with that. Magic? 
Hey, I wonder... I got it! Maybe Orko's magic couldn't make me big. But I know someone whose magic could. And what have we here? I caught him sneaking around outside. I I came to to ask if I uh, give uh, uh, for, for a favor. <laughs> for one so little, he has a lot of courage. <sighs> oh, not much sense. Even I know better than to ask Skeletor for favors. Silence, you two. Now, what is it that you want? Uh, well, uh, uh would you pl uh, would you please uh, use your magic and make me uh, big? <laughs> <laughs> And what's in it for me? Well, I, I, I can give you these. It's all I've got, but they're yours. So, not only do you trespass in my domain, but you insult me as well. Beastman, take him to the dungeons. Skeletor, wait! The widget could be of use to us. This is a present for He-Man. Perhaps you wouldn't mind giving it to him for me. Uh, you mean... You mean I don't have to go to the dungeon? <laughs> of course not. Skeletor was just making a joke. No. Only He-Man must open this. And I promise you, he'll like what's inside. Well, uh, if you promise, really promise. I don't know what lies you've heard about me, but I've always admired He-Man. And once you do this for me, I'll grant you your wish. Of course, if you prefer the dungeon... Oh, no, 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 I'm... I'm, uh, I'm on my way. <laughs> Remember, it's a surprise. So don't tell anyone who it's from. It's a deal. <laughs> oh boy, I'm gonna be big, I'm gonna be big. <laughs> and He-Man will be mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll bet He-Man's really gonna be happy to get this. I'd better signal him right away. And then Evil Lynn will make me as big as he is. There's the signal. My plan worked, Skeletor. And He-Man will soon be mine. Well, Cringer, it looks like the widgets need He-Man again. Wait until morning? Afraid not, old pal. You never know what kind of trouble our little friends may have gotten themselves into. By the power of Grayskull! What's up, Squinch? Uh, well, uh, it was sort of a, a mistake. But, uh, as long as you're here, I've got something for you. What is it? Uh, well, uh, why don't you open it first? Yes, open it, He-Man! What's going on? I can't hear a word they're saying! It's magic. And it's not good magic, either. 
But Evil Lynn told me you'd like the surprise. Evil Lynn gave this to you? That's right, He-Man. The little fool fell right into my trap. I stayed you and Battle Cat. <laughs> and in 30 seconds, you will be ours! <laughs> I can't hear what you're saying, but I know it's not good. Amen. Uh, uh, I'm getting sleepy. It's the magic. We've got to fight them off while we're still awake. What have I done? You're no match for me, He-Man. As long as I'm awake, I am. Skeletor, you shouldn't do that to a living tree. He-Man, I just can't stay awake. Battle Cat. Uh. Hey, man! Thank you, little one for your help in making He-Man our prisoner. Keep your promise to make me big and I'll take on all of you, single-handed. Not a chance, little one. And now that your protector is gone, Eternia will soon be mine. <laughs> Magic will be wearing off soon. Oh, where are we? In Snake Mountain as my prisoners. Beastman, activate the laser cage. Hold on, cat. Let me try. Quick, increase the power. Thanks to the blunder of your little friend, Squinch, you will remain our prisoners. While I pay King Randor a visit and relieve him of his crown. <sighs> We've got to get out and stop them. I wish you the best of luck, He-Man, because you're going to need it! You've got to do something. Skeletor's got He-Man. Now, what's all this? Yeah, it was like we said. Skeletor and Evil Lynn put a spell on He-Man and Battle Cat. Oh, that made him fall asleep. And Skeletor took them away! And it's... it's all my fault. What? what? I... I wanted to be big so I could be a hero like He-Man. And Evil Lynn said she'd help me if I gave He-Man a magic box. Well, how could you do that, Squitch? All her magic is evil. She said he'd like it. Evil Lynn would say anything to get the best of He-Man. But I'm afraid you were too blinded by your own selfishness to see. Oh, Squinch, you made a mistake. But we still love you. I sure did. But if I were big, I could go rescue He-Man. Oh, what's so bad about being small? I'm going to rescue He-Man just the way I am. Then I am, too. Teela, you'd better go along to help these little giants while the guards and I get ready for a visit from Skeletor. There it is, the Royal Palace of Eternia. Yes, Panthor, soon it will be mine. the secret entrance to Snake Mountain long ago. It should lead us directly to the dungeons and He-Man. Oh, 
no. Welcome, little one. My magic crystal told me to expect visitors. Did it also tell you that He-Man will soon be free? <laughs> he and his cat are behind that wall. Even if I weren't here, you'd never be able to free him. <laughs> it's no use, man at arms. They're too strong for us. Very true. <laughs> what should I do with this one? You put me down. You heard what the lady said, Beast Man. Come on, Duncan, let's get him. Eh, a blast from my freeze ray should keep you both out of my way. <laughs> Until <laughs> I've crowned myself King of Eternia. That will never happen, Skeletor. Squidge is going to rescue He-Man and then you'll be sorry. <laughs> this small one is amusing. But now it's time for me to take my rightful throne. Hail, Squinch. You wanted me to use my magic on you. Uh, uh actually, I, uh, I've kind of changed my mind. <sighs> Sorry, little one, but it's too late for that. Squidge, quick, get through that hole. Orko's right. It's too small for us to get through. But you'll fit, and then you can rescue He-Man. Not a chance, Squidge. You wanted to be big. Well, here's your wish. Oh, no! My one chance to save He-Man, and now I'm too big to do it. Orko, use your magic and make me small. Sure thing, Squidge. Oh, boy! You did it! Oh, no, you don't! He-Man! Great work, Squinch. Now, over there, the switch. Turn it off. Got it. Now you'll truly feel my wrath. Now we've got to help Tila and Orko. He-Man. I'll simply open a space portal and join Skeletor at the Royal Palace. Stop her, Battle Cat! Come on, everyone! My magic will lead us right to the palace! Well, Randor, it's time for you to bow before your true master! Never! Orko! Where have you led us? To the Royal Palace, just like I said I would. Anyway, it was Evil Lynn's space portal, not mine. Well, at least it got us here. Now let's find Skeletor. Unnecessary, He-Man. Because we've already found you. <laughs> Get him, Panthor! Why, Panthor, how nice to see you. Tina, what do you think? Great, Tila. Now we're really cooking. I just know you'll want to be part of this flower, old boy. Because all we need is some water. In a magical cooking rag. Got the funniest looking loaf of instant bread ever seen. You'll pay for this, He Man! 
So you keep telling me, Skeletor. But when are you going to learn that evil never really can win? Wait until I get my hands on that He-Man! No, Squinch! You really did rescue He-Man! Yeah, and it was all because I was little, too. Maybe I'm not the wrong size after all. That's right, Squinch. It's not how big your body is that counts, but how big you are inside. And by those standards, you're a real giant. What about me? <laughs> you're not a giant, Orko. <laughs> you're just a big clown. <laughs> In today's story, He-Man said what is important is what you're like inside. It's not really important whether you're big or small or tall or short or fat or skinny. In other words, what's important is being the best person you can be. You know something? I bet there are a lot of people out there right now who'd like to be just like you. <laughs> Good for you, Squinch. You said it. except what's right in front of you. Hold it. Unless you want me to use this freeze ray, you'll come quietly. After all this trouble, Skeletor's plan had better work. <laughs> You forgot about me, didn't you? Here's where I give you the hook, Trap Jaw. Say, Metal Mouth. <laughs> what is this? I'll go after him. <laughs> Let him go. I have what I came for. 
At long last, my revenge against He-Man will be complete. Skeletor. I should have known. Your mistake will cost you dearly, old enemy. I'm about to rid Eternia of your hated presence forever. You'll feel nothing, He-Man. But you will no longer be a problem to me. By the powers of darkness, evil and fear, I command He-Man's memory to now disappear. <coughs> oh no, what have they done? Doorway, now prove that Skeletor is clever. Sweep He-Man inside you and hold him forever. <coughs> To the crossroads of all universes, where he is destined to spend the rest of his days wandering an alien world, not knowing who he is or where he came from. And now... Skeletor! Stay right where you are! Let me take care of them. Oh, no you don't. <laughs> huh? We've done what we came to do. Let's go! Skeletor! Evil in! Hey! Hey, what about me? And don't get any smart ideas about biting through the bars, because they're electrically charged. That takes care of Trapjaw and Triclops, but what about He-Man? I'm going with Orko and the others to speak to the sorceress, but frankly, Skeletor's spell might even be beyond her powers. <laughs> It is a most difficult problem, my friends. With all the vast number of worlds that make up the universe, finding the one He-Man landed on would be virtually impossible. There must be something we can do. Well, there is one being I know who observes all that happens in the cosmos. Only he could point the way to He-Man now. Zodak, rider of the cosmic spaceways, appear for us. We need you! My thanks, Zodak, for coming so quickly. With the fate of Eternia's champion at stake, I could do no less. Oh, gee, Mr. Zodak. Sir, could you really bring back He-Man? Though I observe all that happens in the cosmos, Orko, I cannot use my powers to change things. I can, however, give you this. The wand will work with your magic and will guide you. I can tell you no more than that. <laughs> you mean we have to depend on Orko's magic? Oh, we're doomed. Orko, Cringer, and Ram Man must make the journey. You will be needed here, Man-at-Arms. I understand. Now hurry, my friends. I sense He-Man is in great danger. <laughs> doing with this wait don't run away what are you creatures stop what are you doing you must be one of plunder's evil goons well I know how to deal with you monster I went easy on you this time but if I ever see you harming another Schminivit but I've never seen those creatures before I I don't even know where I am and I suppose you're not one of Plunder's hench thugs, hmm? No, I... I... I don't know who I am. You remind me of someone. Someone I knew back on... Now that you mention it, you do look like a stranger to these parts. Why don't you come with me, and we'll see if we can figure out where you belong. Yes. Hmm, 
so that whiny do-gooder, Gleedle, has found herself a new friend. He's a powerful-looking brute, whatever he is. Oh, such a creature might be of great use to me. Me, Plundor the Spoiler. Oh, no, I'm not going. Oh, come on, you big fraidy cat. But I hate going through the time corridor. It's He-Man's only chance, my friends. Good luck. Remember, little one, He-Man will not know you when you find him. Tell him to talk of home, and perhaps it will help him remember. Talk of home? I got it. I think. Well, I get travel sick when I time travel. Farewell, my friends. Hey, this is fun. <laughs> Let me out. I want to go home. Relax, Cringer. We probably won't need anything more dangerous than a rabbit. I hope. This is the only way to fly. I think I'm getting travel sick. Look, guys, Zodax 1 is glowing. We must be close to Hemi. Hang on! Wow! Oh, I thought we cats always landed on our feet. We're here! Uh, wherever here is. Hey, guys! Look at that swell back scratcher someone lost. That's no back scratcher. It's He-Man's sword. Can you follow his scent? Well, uh, I have a little cold, but uh, I'll give it a try. <laughs> Live here? Yes. This planet is called Dredus. My name is Gleedle. I look after the animals that live here. What's left of them, anyway? What happened? Once Dredus was a beautiful green world. But that was before Plunder took over. He used his evil machines to cut down the forests and spoil the rivers. With their homes and water gone, the animals had to move on. Some of the animals died out completely, thanks to Plunder's destruction. These pictures are all that's left of them. This one reminds me of... of... Plunder's droids! How did I do that? <coughs> no! No! Sleep smoke! <coughs> Still know what to sign a He-Man. This planet is so dirty, I can hardly smell anything. We've just got to find him. <laughs> it's a, it's a m monster. I don't think this friendly pooch would hurt anyone. In fact, maybe you could ask him if he's seen He-Man, Cringer. Growl? Snarl? Um, he's, he says his mistress and He-Man were taken away by a, a giant robot. Oh, rise and shine. Time to get up. <laughs> Greetings, stranger. I am Plundor, the rightful ruler of Trainers. The rightful destroyer, you mean? 
Oh, since you don't like what I've done to the outside, Gleedle, you'll be happy to know I've got a lovely spot picked out for you in my dungeon. You don't have to share Gleedle's fate, stranger. How, how would you like to help me become the richest man in the universe? What do you mean? Oh, in this container is the life force of this planet. Using my evil powers, I've turned it into a magic liquid which I can sell for millions. Even billions. <laughs> I'll make a fortune. You destroy a whole world just for wealth and treasures? I'd do anything for that. He, he, he says He-Man is inside that frightening place. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's knock him out of there. No, Ram Man. We've got to play it smart. Sneak up on him and take him by surprise. Oh, stranger, what is your answer going to be? I could use those muscles of yours. I may not remember where I came from or even what my name is, but I know what you're doing to this world is wrong. Oh, then you and Gleedle can both stay in my dungeon forever. <laughs> What's happening? He-Man, look, it's us. <laughs> He-Man? Oh, my robot guards will take care of you intruders. He-Man. Can't you remember anything? Do I know you? Zodak said I should talk of home, and your memory might come back. But I... I can't remember where my home is. No! I'll take care of these guys. Speak of home. Speak of home. Of course! Where else would you be more at home than Castle Grayskull? Quick, follow me! Help! Help! Now hold the sword up and say, By the power of Grayskull! By the power of Grayskull! turning my robots to junk, but they won't get my magic liquid. <laughs> if I can't get rich from my magic liquid, then nobody will harm it. This joy ride. Thanks to you, He Man, our world is pure and clean again. And once Plunder's evil factory is destroyed, your planet should be totally back to normal. As a matter of fact, 
I have an unwilling volunteer working on that right now. That reminds me, we have a score to settle with an old friend named Skeletor back on our world. Is the time corridor ready for Eternia, Orko? All set. Where's Ram Man? I'll say one thing for these guys. <laughs> they sure know how to have fun. Come on, friends. Let's go home. In today's story, He-Man came to the aid of a planet whose natural resources were being wasted. Unfortunately, this same waste is happening now, and not on a distant planet, but right here on Earth. We must respect the plants and animals before they disappear, as some species already have. There's beauty all around us. Protect it before it's too late. I'd say your new training equipment is a success, Duncan. Well, it's left of it, you mean? We can pick up the pieces later. Right now, Prince Adam is going to be late for dinner unless I hurry. Well, I'll see you there. be a full house tonight. But no matter, Orko the Great will entertain you all with a dazzling display of amazing magic. Hey, that's not supposed to happen. It'd really be amazing if he ever learns how to work that silly wand. <laughs> Father. I heard that, man-at-arms. You better have some respect for my magic or I'll, I'll... Oh, just watch this. I must have absolute silence. I must concentrate. Concentrate. <laughs> Bravo. Greetings, Mother. Father, sorry I'm late. Perfect timing as usual, Prince Adam. Sorry, Orko. You could at least make an effort to get here on time. Sorry, Tila, but you know how time flies when you're, uh, <laughs> having fun. That's the trouble. You're always having fun. Really, son, such conduct is not worthy of a future king. I think Adam inherited from me what we Earthlings call a sense of humor. Well, he'll need more than that if he wants to rule someday. I'll be ready, Father, but not for a long, long time, I hope. Oh, very well, son. On with the magic, Orko. Now you're talking, Your Majesty. Behold, demon dust, the very thing to conjure up a fearful creature from beyond. Well, lucky for us, the biggest thing he's ever conjured up was a rabbit. Now, by the powers of wizard and elf, I command you, demon, show yourself. Look, the spell is working. It is? Hey, it is! That's no demon. You can say that again. Forgive my sudden arrival, your highnesses. I am Magestra, a traveling magician. 
I have come hoping to entertain you all with my wondrous illusions. Welcome, Magestra. I'm sure we'd all love to see your illusions. However, we already have a court magician. But, Father, I don't think Orko would mind sharing the stage with one as talented and as fair as Magestra. What? My thanks, little one. Here, for you. Show off. Proceed, Magestra. Let us have music, then. Harmonies pleasing to kingly ears. <laughs> Big deal. And now, Your Majesties, the most mystifying spell of all. Behold, the Cabinet of Wonders. To all outside appearances, an ordinary box. But inside! Just what is inside? Ah. See for yourself, sire. Very well. Now what? Spirits of magic from far and near. Make his majesty disappear! What evil wizardry is this? But wait! Your king is unharmed. Here he is. That's some trick. Well, magic has certainly sharpened your appetite. Your Highness. Hmm. Oh, oh well done, Magistra. Yes, very entertaining. I invite you to stay with us a while longer, my dear. You're too kind, sire. Come, I'll have the guards show you to your room. Nicely done, fool. You nearly ruined everything. You worry too much. No one suspects us. There's something funny going on here, and I'm going to find out what it is. <laughs> Your Highness, and greet your guests. Oh, well, last thing I remember, I was in the banquet hall. What? It's impossible. It's me. You're no simple magician. Who are you? I see the time for deception has ended. Evelyn! Beastman! You fiends dare to come to Palace Eternia itself? I dare anything, Your Highness. Now that I wield the Shaping Staff, this legendary wand can transform any matter in the universe. But the Shaping Staff is just a myth, a fairy tale. It was just a myth. Until Beastman and I found it in a hidden cave near the Crystal Sea. Soon, I will hand it over to my master, Skeletor. But first, I decided to test the wand here on you. Let you who were once king of Eternia now be king of goats! <laughs> now, with you posing as the real king, Beastman, Skeletor will rule Eternia through you! <laughs> uh -oh. Get him! We can't let him tell the others! <laughs> Stop him! I'm, I'm trying, but he jumps around like a blasted cricket. Ah, oh, then a cricket he shall be! Prince Adam! Prince Adam! That takes care of him. Behold, Skeletor! The shaping staff as I promised. <laughs> well done, Evelyn. Now we begin phase two. Tomorrow, Beastman and I, in disguise, will lead the forces of Eternia to Grayskull. There I will hand over the shaping staff to you. And then... Then we shall defeat the forces of Eternia in one fell swoop. <laughs> Be careful now. You must make Prince Adam believe that you are his father. You worry too much. You sent for us, sire. Yes, Adam? I've been speaking with Magestra about the old castle in the forest. 
It's time we made Grayskull a part of our kingdom. But why, Father? What use could Grayskull be to us? If you've no taste for conquest, you can stay behind. Men at arms, ready the troops. We march tomorrow. Yes, sire. But why this sudden interest in the castle? I mean, surely there are more important... You're a fine one to talk of importance, Adam. You with your lazy ways. Come, Magestra, we have much to do. It's not like my father to ever consider attacking Grayskull. He's always been a man of peace. Maybe I can reason with him in the morning. He's getting suspicious. Leave him to me. After tonight, we won't have to worry about Prince Adam. Who's there? Oh, <laughs> Adam? <laughs> are, are you asleep yet? Cringer, what do you want at this time of night? Well, uh, um, it, it does get rather drafty sleeping outside, you know, to, 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 to say nothing of, um... Scary, huh? All right, come on in, old cat. Now what? A cricket. Uh, Adam, it's me! Orko! The king is a fake! It's Beast Man with evil in it! Please, please help! If he's a fake, where's my father? Don't worry, Orko. We'll help you and rescue my father. Let's go, Cringer. Oh, do we have to? Do you want me to go alone? Y you sure you w want me to answer that? By the power of Grayskull! <laughs> I hate this part. Good evening, Prince. He-Man! Evil Lynn and Beast Man. So, Adam's fears were right. Yes, my enemy. But you'll not stop us! My sword can deflect magical bolts, Evelyn. Or didn't you know that? Beastman, help me! <laughs> Father, that noise! I know. It came from Adam's room. I can't see. Get back! Before she reaches that staff! I already have it, fool! Ah, oh, I can see again. And though you can deflect the staff's magic, your friends cannot! Hela! Surrender, He-Man! Or Tila will remain a little frog forever! And now, for you! First, free Tila from your spell. No! She will join the others in my menagerie. Don't you recognize them, He-Man? It's a former king of Eternia and his court clown. Release them, you evil witch, or I'll... You'll do nothing except change. There, a handsome golden present for Skeletor. Gotcha! Bah! You two are not worth bothering about! To Grayskull! I will make another He-Man, an evil one called Faker! <laughs> I have done it! A perfect likeness of He-Man! Sometimes my power even amazes me! Faker, you must get the sorceress to leave Grayskull. Outside the castle, her magic is weaker, and I can overpower her. 
In this dim light, she'll think you're a He-Man. Call her, Faker. Yes, Master. Sorceress. Sorceress, please hear me. He-Man. What brings you here at this hour? I've been hurt. There's something wrong. Your voice sounds different, He-Man. That's because I was ambushed by Skeletor. I... I can't think clearly. Stay there. I'll come to you. Where are you? Right here, sorceress. Ivalin! You should not have left your castle. Here, my power is as strong as yours. Now that you're here, perhaps you'd like a taste of the Shaping Staff. Remain rooted to that spot forever, sorceress, as a harmless tree. No! No! Very good, Evelyn. I could have taken care of her myself, of course, but this fate is more fitting. Soon, Man-at-Arms will lead his troops here to rescue He-Man and his friends. Let them come! I'll face them with the combined powers of the Shaping Staff and Castle Grayskull. Sorceress, even in this transformed state, I can still sense your thoughts. Use your magic to break the spell. I... I can't. Evelyn's power, too strong, can't resist. You've got to try, for all our sakes. Yes, must try, must break the spell. <laughs> Quick, Skeletor! The wand! We don't need a wand, not with Faker here! You forget, E-Man! I have your power, too! Let's see how well you can use that power! How do you like that, hero? I don't like it, Faker, and I like you even less. It's a long way down, He-Man. Need a hand? In this case, a leg will do just fine. Wait! Stop! <laughs> With this staff, I can rescue Faker from the bottomless gorge. But first, you and I have some unfinished business. Skeletor, the only way to break your evil spell is like this. Thanks, He-Man. Come on, let's get out of here. No, the staff is still strong enough to stop them. <laughs> Fools! With one wave of this wand, I'll turn you all into... That'll teach you to fool around with magic. Curse you all! Once I've restored Eva Lynn and Faker, I'll be back to have vengeance. So swears Skeletor! Well, it's good to be back on the throne. It's good to have you back, Father. 
<laughs> and it's good to, to have you back, little buddy. Thanks, Cringe. You know, I don't think I'd like to be a cricket, but I sure wish I knew how to do that trick. Adam, it's too bad you weren't around. We certainly could have used some help. Thank goodness He-Man showed up. Funny, he's always there when we need him. Boy, I hope I can meet him someday. I'd really like to thank him for helping us out and for bringing my father back. Thank you, son, and now I think we all deserve some fun. Orko, let's have some magic. Your wish is my command. Now for my first trick. For, for my first trick, I'm going to disappear. <laughs> in today's story, you saw what happened when a stranger came to the palace. She turned out to be evil and dangerous. Of course, turning people into animals is only make-believe, but there is nothing make-believe about how dangerous some strangers can be in real life. Never accept any food or toys or money from a stranger. Don't even talk to them. And no matter what a stranger may say, never go away with them. Terrible things have happened to some kids who did. The smart thing is to just walk away, or in my case, just float away. <laughs>